So it looks like the Democratic establishment in Nevada, the Democratic machine there is up to some of the same tricks and kind of corrupt practices that we saw in the Iowa caucus. So I saw, came across this on my Twitter feed from Samuel Finkelstein. Finkelstein. The Nevada Democratic Party just hired a, a paid booty judge organizer to be their, quote, voter protection director. I mean, they're not even trying to hide that they're trying to do, do whatever that they can in plain sight to steal the nomination from one Bernard Sanders, and it's just freaking disgusting. It's totally disgusting. So look, organizer for Pete for America, October 2019 to February 2020. So up until right now, she was a... Organize, a paid organizer for the booty judge campaign and she's going to be the Nevada Democratic's party voter protection director after we saw all the shady shit that happened in the Iowa caucus I mean I just feel like the establishment's trying to do this just to get people so dismayed and just just thinking that the system is just so corrupt that Bernie doesn't stand a chance that people just become demoralized and lose all of their enthusiasm and, and support and the movement and all that stuff. And then, but I think honestly, it's going to have the opposite response. I think it's just going to galvanize more support around Bernie Sanders. And I think honestly, it would be to Bernie Sanders advantage if he highlighted how corrupt the whole DNC these state parties are and like point that out more more aggressively and more often because people people see that people see stuff like this and how they're just trying to shaft Bernie in every way because he's a threat to the establishment and the corporate neoliberal interest of the Democratic Party and he needs to highlight that stuff more. That's one of the reasons Trump did so well in 2016 is he was fighting against, you know, the establishment in some way or at least, you know, using that rhetoric while doing the establishment's bidding, obviously once he got elected, but and it just sticks because it's there. I mean, there's just look what happened in Iowa. That was just a fucking shit show. Bernie ended up with 6,000 more votes, but they're not that was like the Iowa Democratic Party's attorney was saying that they can't change any of that because even though the results recorded wrong, it would be some it would be shady to report the correct results, basically. It'd be corrupt to report the correct results. This is the fucking kind of Orwellian world that the Democratic Party and establishment lives in and it's just nuts. It's fucking nuts. Emily just locked her Twitter account and scrubbed her employment history from LinkedIn. For posterity, her position as voter protection director still shows up with a Google search. So, there you go. It's freaking just ridiculous that, that we have to put up with this kind of stuff. I mean, get rid of all the apps, paper ballots, ranked choice voting, open primaries. Um... She just locked her Twitter account a few minutes ago while I was reading the thread. <laughs> Plies were not going well for her. And what do, what do you expect? People see just just the implication of it. You were paid freaking uh, staffer on the booty judge team up until this month. And now you're going to be the head of voter protection for the uh, Nevada Democrat Party. Uh, it just paints a horrible picture. Jesus Christ. I'm thinking hundreds of Nevada burners need to show up at NDP headquarters tomorrow morning to volunteer to help her out. Seriously. <sighs> There's plenty more evidence. See E. Goldman's tweet. Oh, let's see if it's blocked, though. Oh, yep. She still has it blocked. She was getting uh, the requisite pushback for being seen as sh so shady and corrupt and if you're not a shady and corrupt person, then you probably wouldn't put yourself in that position to give that implication to the broader 
you know, voting, voting public. Oh man, tweets are protected, not surprising. Let's see. Bernie Sanders has a campaign in place to confront these issues. That's how we know that a lot of the votes were tampered with or just those incomplete or inaccurate or just completely wrong results from a lot of those Iowa precincts because Bernie had people on the ground who were able to report on that stuff. If he wasn't there, I mean, it probably would be even worse. It wouldn't even know about it. If it wasn't for Not Me Us... Um, the DNC rigging and I would have been successful. That's true. That's true. Yep. Paper trails, exit polls, volunteer. Let's see. So far, the rigging in Iowa is successful. Pete got the same amount of delegates as Bernie got. They are robbing us and we have to fight back. Again, <laughs> DNC decides to elect Trump to a second turn. I swear this is getting out of hand and it must be stopped right now. And then, so I wanted to show this tweet. So this is Faiz Shakur, the um, campaign director, campaign manager uh, for the Bernie Sanders campaign. Appreciate the concerns here. We've spoken with the Nevada party, which has assured us that the individual does not have decision-making authority over the caucus count. Please know we are working hard with the party to get every assurance that, mis that the mistakes of Iowa are not repeated. So they assured you, and I'm assured that that assurance means jack shit. <laughs> so we got to stay vigilant. We got to make sure that Bernie wins just by massive margins. So this either complete and utter just failures at, at their jobs or some type of systemic corruption isn't able to, you know, mess with the results like they, like they did in Iowa. Thanks, Faze. We are all doing everything we can. That's why we're going to win. Don't think naming and shaming competent professionals is the best way to go about finding justice cheap. What? What are you... And then you have, this is probably some freaking corporate shill. Jesus. Look. And then, yeah, it's like, okay, if there wasn't some <laughs> corrupting influence by her working for Pete up until this month, and then going on the Democratic Party, Nevada Democratic Party, to protect voters. This is from Ronnie. Um, if Emily's role wasn't problematic, conflict of interest, why did she scrub her LinkedIn and lock down her social media accounts? How are we supposed to trust the process to be fair? Does Bernie 2020 also have former campaign members working in every state's Democratic op operations? That's a good, good point. Let's see. <laughs> Iowa isn't even over. I know. It's like, oh my God. Um, look, look at this. Um, as we laser focus on Nevada, more dots are connected. Back in September, Booty Judge hired the Nevada Democratic Party's former executive director, Travis Brock, to serve as his national director, overseeing organizing for caucuses, including those in the first. In line, Iowa and Nevada. Thank you, Faiz, Tommy, Kombuchar says. And don't let them get away with it in Iowa. Pete didn't win the SDE count. It's just that for now, the Iowa Democratic Party simply doesn't want to acknowledge the identified errors in these 28 precincts, which is nuts. Like, again, it just shows that they're doing everything they can to. Make sure Bernie doesn't become the nominee, even if it's just outright cheating and corruption or just extreme <laughs> structural incompetence. Either way, it's <laughs> horrible and very troubling and disturbing. Is the campaign going to pursue an Iowa recount? I mean, why? W yeah, I wouldn't trust them at all either. Yeah. Yeah, we need every delegate. Honestly, it's true. Because we see what they're what they're willing to do just to just to cheat Bernie. So we got to stay vigilant. Canvas, knock on doors, call, text, donate if you can. Talk with friends, family members, share, post on social media. We got to keep up the momentum because we see that the 
democratic establishment, the neoliberal centrist wing, which is, you know, mostly Democratic Party, is doing everything that they can to, again, steal the nomination from, from Bernie. And we just, it's super important that, that he gets elected. So we got to keep up the momentum. Peace. Much love.